o'clock, I know. Tea, it's getting cold. <laughs> My turn. Yes. Your tea. Oh, leave it there, thank you. All right. Right, Jimmy, today's the day. Your aunt is coming to take you out, isn't she? Yeah. So that's school this morning, and then this afternoon, no school. <laughs> <laughs> now you get dressed. Here's your trousers. Sorry, I've got fell in. Too deep. That's it. Come on, too deep. That's right. Quick march. Oh, wait a minute. I've got to post a letter. Now, wait there. Now, don't move. 
Come on, Jimmy. Come on, smash it. I wouldn't mind having that man. <laughs> I'll bet you wouldn't. Get those children off the road. This is a public crossing, Mr. Bigley. Why, you... Now, take it easy, Dad. Larry, I'll get fell in. Too deep. Hurry up. Swing your arms. That's it. Come on. Too deep. Norman! Halt! Well? Give these to Matron with my compliments. Oh, <laughs> yes, Mr. Bigby. Quick march. Morning, Miss Gibson. Hello. Can Jimmy have the afternoon off? Because his auntie's coming to take him out. Yes, of course. No. Are these for me? Hmm? Why, Norman, how sweet of you. Iris! Iris! I just dashed in to ask you to make it 7.30 instead of 7. The old man's busy. All right? Norman brought me these. Oh, did he? Aren't they wonderful? Wonderful. Are you uh, coming my way, Norman? No, thanks. No, I, I just want to see the children in. All right. See you later. I think you'll prefer it. Yes, that seems to be all right. I know I let you down on the other side, but how was I to know the council would step in? How do you know they won't step in now? I can guarantee that. And you couldn't get a better site for your factory near the railway and a few minutes from the main road. But will they let you close an orphanage? Yes. What about the children? I'm not going to do anything... Never that might... fear, Mr. Carter. They will be taken care of. As chairman of the orphanage committee, I know my duty to the children. They will be boarded out in private homes. That's what the poor things need. That's the modern way, and I will see to it personally. Oh, excuse me. You know my son, don't you? How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Well, as long as the children are properly looked after, I'm willing to consider the place. It seems to meet our requirements. Anyway, I'd like to look over it when the children are away. Leave that to me. I'll ring you about that later today. Good. I'll be in all the afternoon. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Dad, it's not the Greenwood home you're offering them, is it? Why not? It's a perfect site. But, Dad, the children. They're so happy there. They'll be just as happy in private homes. Oh, but, but Dad... Now, Alec, I've no time to talk to you now, Alec. Now, you wait here, Jimmy, and your aunt will come in a minute. Yes, Mary. Have a lovely time. Yes, that's it, Jimmy. You enjoy yourself. Mary, I've got to get some old clothes from Lady Wilson's. I'll be back about four. Ta-da! Can I have some coppers, please? Can I... Can I have some coppers, please?
Topham 245. Topham. Oh. Topham 245. Got a pencil? Yes, thanks. Would you like a pencil? Thank you. Oh, is, is Mabel on duty, please? Oh, it is Mabel. Oh, good. This is Norman from the orphanage. I haven't got any money. Look, and I've got to phone Lady Wilson because I'm calling around for some old clothes for the orphanage and she doesn't know when I'm calling, so if you'll put me through now, I'll pay you Friday. Oh, good. Yes, it's, um... Oh, it's Chiswick, 4, 7... No, uh, Larkswood, 8... Oh, Amsterdam. No, it's... Well, there's one down here. Yeah, it's... No, it's not that one. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! But this is all smothered with them. Is, have you got a pin? Oh, I don't know. It's amazing. I'm, oh, I've got it. Top them, two, four, five. That's the one. What on earth? Down at once. There's a liberty. Put it down. Now get out of it. Get out at once. I was in here first. I'll be waiting. Give me that telephone. I tell you. Hello, Jimmy. My goodness, you soon got on. I bet you had a smash in time, didn't you? What's the matter? Didn't your auntie come then? Oh, well, never mind, Jimmy. At least somebody did write to you. I've never had a postcard in all my life. Look, Jimmy, I'll tell you what. You come over here and I'll tell you how I was found in a basket on cruise station. Here, let's go into the kitchen and see what there is to eat, eh? See what we can find, eh? Here's the jelly. I'll get a spoon, eh? Well, don't you want any, then? Mm. Have an orange, eh? Well, tell you what, let's make a man, and he'll stand up on his own. Here, what are you up to? I thought you were going out with your auntie. Oh. Here, love, have a special Sunday biscuit. Here you are. Oh, don't cry, Jimmy. Your aunt will come some other day. Now, be a big boy and stop crying, eh? Tell you what, you can take first pick of any toy before the others come back from school. Look, Jimmy. If you stop crying and give us a nice smile, I'll buy you a new toy. All for yourself. Anything you want. There. It's a promise. Now, 
What do you want? Promise? Yes, I promise. Cross your heart. Well, what's it going to be? The motor car. Which motor car? The motor car in the shop window on the way to school. <laughs> that one? The snowman. <laughs> now, you run upstairs and take your pick before the others come back, eh? Hey? Thank you, no, follow with the car. <laughs> <laughs> now you've done it. What's up with you? Well, making promises you can't keep. But Jimmy knows. Jimmy knows nothing of the sort. And you should never make a promise, especially to a child, if you don't intend to keep it. Children never forget. And now, would you mind getting on with some work? All right, all right. I merely want to know what you did with Mr. Bigley's flowers. Well, I was going to school without the other kids and oh, I had please speak, Penny. I can't get a word you're saying. saying. Go on, up, start again. <laughs> I was going to school without the other kids and I went to the other kids. Oh, just speak up, Norman. Oh, my gracious, me, there's no need to shout. I'm not shouting at you. Well, of course she's shouting at you. It's nothing to do with you anyway. It wasn't possible to do more than keep quiet. I don't need to ask you. You're only the cook and you're not even down where you're possible. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, shut up, nothing. Oh, you I had a little bit of a beast. Oh, you had a bit of a beast. I can't talk about it. I Nothing wonderful about flying saucers. Once this hits the interstellar space of the stratosphere and the law of gravity ceases to operate, then you've had it. Come on, children. Bedtime. Yes, come on, Kip. Come on. Bedtime. I won't go to bed until Norma sings to us. No will I. No will I. All right, well, what do you want me to sing? The step song, Norman. Yes, the step yes, song. Yes, right on, on, please. Please. Yes. All right. Take a step in the right direction. Turn your eyes to the skies of blue. If a signpost should say you'll be happy that way, that's the way for you. Take a step in the right direction. Walk along with a song or two. Give a smile to the sun and you'll find that it's fun, for the sun will smile back at you. Just wear a rainbow in your hair and sunbeams in your eyes. Find a million dreams to share and you'll grow up healthy, wealthy and wise. You will make every day perfection if you try to be good and true. Take a step in the right direction and the whole world will belong to you. Just wear a rainbow in your hair and sunbeams in your eyes. Find a million dreams to share and you'll grow up healthy, wealthy and wise. You will make every day perfection if you try to be good and true. Take a step in the right direction and the whole world will be learned. Oh, 
Do the trick. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Shut the door, Norman. What for? You'll see. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Cracking almost fainted. Somebody get some water, quick. Hurry, quick. Yes, hurry. Oh, look. Look, look at the mess you made. Oh, come on, now get undressed. Into bed. Come on. Come on, into bed. Andy Parnas, Andy crossed his heart. Don't be soft, Jimmy. It costs 12 pounds. And 12 pounds is 240 shillings. And 240 shillings is 2,880 pence. Norman! Here you are, Norman. What's this? A postcard because you never had one. Oh, well, thank you, Jimmy. Oh, yes, that's nice. That's the first one I've ever had. Thank you very much. Prayers, everybody. God bless Norman and make him keep his promise. Amen. Why, who's there? It's me. Benson, can I have an advance on my salary? Can't get a word you're saying. Can I have an advance on my salary? What? 48, 49, 50, Can I have an advance 50. on my salary, please? Certainly not. Do you know how many weeks on advance already? Fifteen. Oh, no, only ten, Mason. Fifteen. No, it's only ten, Mason. Get me the book and I'll show you. Hey, I'm Mason. It isn't fifteen. Well, it isn't ten. What is it? Fourteen. You don't get another penny. But I must have 12 pounds. You're crazy. Norman, you're not in trouble, are you, Norman? What sort of trouble? Are you courting Norman? <laughs> not yet. Oh, well, what is it? I promised to buy Jimmy a toy. Well, why do you want 12 pounds? Of course, that's what it costs. You're mad, Norman, promising a child a toy that costs 12 pounds. Even if you weren't in arrears, I wouldn't advance it. Every penny you get, you waste on those children. When will you grow up? I promise. Well, you have to unpromise. Now, hurry along, Norman. I have a great deal to do, especially as Mr. Bigley has promised to send all the children to Brighton for the day. Brighton? Yes. I've never seen the oh, thing. Oh, go away. into your head, love. For an orphan, anything fits. This lot came in last night. Oh, well, let's see what we can find. Ah, oh, here's just the job for you, Tupney. <laughs> Nearly fit. No, it doesn't. You've been eating too much. <laughs> and it goes right over your head, doesn't it? <laughs> so that won't do. I've got a rose. You've got a rose. All got children got, got a rose. When I go to heaven, I'm going to put on my rose. Walk all over God's heaven, 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 heaven. heaven. Uh, oh, hello, Miss Gibson. Uh, we're just, um, oh, well, we're all going to heaven at Brighton. <laughs> we're nearly ready, Miss Gibson. Now, children, mind you're all a great credit to the home. Yes, yes, yes. And do everything that Miss Gibson and Cook and Mary tell you. Yes, yes, yes. All ready, then? Yes, yes my children. Good. And as soon as you've seen them off the premises, Norman, I want you to hurry back here. I've got some people coming to see the home, and I want it cleaned up. Oh. I'm not going, then. No, Norman. Oh. I've never seen this here in all my life, Matron. I can't help it. Norman would be a great help, Matron. Mm. I dare say, Miss Gibson, but I want him here. Please, children, hurry along now. Come along. Hurry along, children. Goodbye, Norman. I'm so sorry you're not coming with us. Me too. Oh, all right. Don't you worry about me. Oh, I should be all right. Oh, I'll, I'll find something to do. There's a lot of things. I'll, I'll. You go and enjoy yourself. Go on. 
Go on, have a nice time. Bye. Bring me back a stick of rock. Yes, Mom. <laughs> What is it? What's happened? Please, Matron, if Norman can't go, we don't want to go either. But that's absurd. Children! Very well, Norman. Go along and see the sea. <laughs> Come on, then. <laughs> Farewell to me, rum pass as well. Farewell to the well-known old Bailey, where he used for to cut such a swell, singing to rely, rely, singing to rely. Tain't leaving old England we cares about. Tain't cause we misspells what we owned. Tis cause all we like singed gentry. Hops around with a log on our toes. Singing to rely, rely at a Singing to rely, rely Singing to rely, rely at a For we bound for Do you let me sit there, Martin, so I can be opposite Miss Gibson? No, Norman, I want to look out of the window. Uh But you travel all over the place, ain't you? If we're going down to Brighton ourselves. You've been about much? I suppose we should do a bit of paddling and that. We ain't going back till tonight. Oh. Here, here, what about a sing song? Sweets here. Go on now, get stuck in. Go on. Yeah, I'll catch. Oh, oh go on. Oh, go on. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh, well. Oh, dear. We're going to have some logs on this trip. I can see that coming home. Oh, one big happy family. I'm glad I got in here. I bet if I'd have gone in one of the carriages farther down, I'd have got freezed out. <laughs> cool. Here. Here. Here, look at this. Now, oh, what's this? Look what's this. This was. It's landing. There you are. There. Now, there's a liberty. There is a liberty. Right on my jam. Now, get out of it. Go on. Get out of it. Get out of it. Get out of it. Put this away. <laughs> Here. Where's my bottle stopper? <laughs> You're having a lark? <laughs> you little devil. <laughs> Come on, who's got my bottle stopper? Come on, get out of it. I've got to find my bottle stopper. Go on, sit over there. That's it. Go on, on his lap. <laughs> Here, come to a tunnel in a minute. <laughs> Go on, get over there. Hold this. There. <laughs> oh, I've been a fool, ain't I? Yes! yes. Come on, we're all right now. I'll tell you what. Here. Now, let's, let's all drop off. Go on, have a kid. But what do you want me to do about it? Borrow some. Borrow some.
Well, only you. Now, don't get excited. Norman! Oh, he's doing it! Oh, look, she's getting my trousers now. Oh, no, pretty it up. Look. What do you think oh, I'm going to do, run down the line and pull it back? I don't think the time's going out on these any good. Well, they would have been. Blowing thing. Oh, 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 no, no. Oh, 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 Tickets. Oi, where's your ticket? Where's your trousers? Here, stop that man! That's a great idea. Tonya, walk right into it. Good. I've got to get to the kids. Yours down there, too? Oh, yeah. How many? Twenty-two. Easily somewhere with his feet up. Where's your number? What number? You'll be disqualified if you haven't got a number, back and front. Hey, where's the seat? 
Over there. Is it? Where? Oh, it's no use. I can't see it, but I'll see it later. Do well I? done, sir. And in record Please. time. A splendid effort, sir. What's oh. oh, oh. sir? I want to see the sea. I've never seen the sea in all my life. I want to see the sea. Where to, lady? To the station. You're to give it back by rights. No, I won it. Under false pretenses, though. Yeah, but I was You weren't even all... entered for the race. Worth a bit of money, I'd say. Is it? Yes, and you could get into a lot of trouble if they found out. That's solid silver, that is. Here. What do you reckon this worth? Oh, 15 or 20 pounds. No. 15 or 20... Here, Norman, what are you going to do? I'm going to have my name put on it. What can I do for you? I want to sell it. 15 or 20 pounds. I name the price. and see it. Yes, very nice. London to Brighton Walk, first place. Astonishing. Where did you get this? Brighton. I won it. Ah, just a moment. Hello, uh, is that the police station? Ah, well, a young man has just brought a cup in. A London to Brighton walk-in race cup. Has any theft been reported? No, nothing reported. Thank you. That's all I wanted to know. <laughs> Yes, I can let you have something on it. Why are you doing that? I'm looking for a job. A job? But you've got a job. No, I mean one that I get paid for. Here's one, listen. Advertising executive wanted by London firm. Must be of smart appearance and go ahead. Night work only. Oh, now don't be silly. You can't go working yourself to death here all day and then work nights. I must. I've got to get the money. I promised. Anyway, you imagine me. A London advertising executive. Candy floss, get your candy floss. Candy floss. I bet they don't half have a good time there, eh? Candy floss. Get your candy floss. Candy floss. Get your candy floss. Did you phone the airport? Yes, he arrived an hour ago. Probably got lost. Can't speak a word of English. Do all these mad musicians. Right outside the Civic and see it. Right. Oh, there you are, Lester. Oh, oh, Quickly, oh, everyone's oh, waiting. Oh, now, not to worry. Oh, you come along oh, with oh, me oh, and I'll take oh, the free oh, time on the stage. Oh, oh, now, please, Swim Doors, mind the steps. Be careful of that. That's right. Just let me up. Oh, 
Now, calm well, well, yourself, well, Maestro. Well, but don't be nervous. Go on, please, Maestro. Go on. Calm yourself, please.
Isn't it, Martin? Yes, it is. That's Jimmy's car, I don't think. <laughs> Won't get that in a month of Sundays. No one wouldn't buy you that. Come on, kids. Lost something, Norman? Hello, Miss Gibson. Has he gone yet? Has who gone? The policeman. Yes, why? Oh, well, I'm a wanted man. Why? Norman, what have you done? Nothing. I only wanted to sell the cup I won, that's all. Why? I want the money to buy Jimmy a car. Look, I must see you. Oh, of course. Um, 4.30 this afternoon at the Cinema Cafe. All right, Miss Gibson. Bye, Miss Gibson. All in. Quick march. Have you had your tea? Yes, sir. Well, you get along now, and I'll stand by until the other girl gets there. Always late, aren't they? Still, woman's privilege. Here. You have a look through the crack in the door, you'll see the pictures for nothing. I'd say, if you have a look, if you have a look. Oh, <laughs> I thought you couldn't hear. <laughs> if you have a look through the crack in the door there, you can see the pictures for nothing. Go on, have a look. Go on. But don't worry, I'll keep watch. Go on, have a look. Go and have a look while you've got the wind up. Go on, go on get your mind your head on the handles. That's it. <laughs> Come on, it's my turn. Just have a look. <laughs> now, you keep watching out for me. <laughs> it's no use you can't see through there. It's filthy. Now, look, watch from outside. We'll both get caught. <laughs> go on. Hey, they're tying him up. Mind you, it's all yours. Hello, Norman. Hello, Miss Gibson. You look very nice. Thank you. I want to explain about last night. Oh, don't trouble to. It was the best concert we've ever been to. Yes? Now, what you gonna have? Nothing, thank you, Norman. But just to please you, I'll have some tea. Tea? And some cream cakes. Some cream cakes? And uh, a chocolate sundae. Chocolate sundae? Yes. yes. And you, sir? Oh, no, nothing for me, thank you. I, I'll just watch. I had to see you, Norman. They're going to close the orphanage. I can't do that. What's going to happen to the children? Well, they're going to board the children out. You shouldn't have stayed on, Norman. You could get lots of jobs. But I couldn't leave the children. They might miss me. You must think of yourself too, you know. I do. I couldn't be happier. 
It's all right being happy, but you must have an ambition. But I am ambitious. See, what I want is an orphanage of my own, so that every little orphan can be happy every day. I know it isn't much of a job, not much money in it. It's a lovely ambition, Norman. Of course it is, isn't it? <laughs> now, if I had an orphanage of my own, well, that'd be all right, but... Well, orphans have to have a matron, don't they? Of course they do. I couldn't manage it by myself, could I? I'm sure you'd find somebody really nice to help you, Norman. I don't want somebody really nice. Oh, I do, but uh, not... Well, I know who I want. So if I had an orphan... Oh, look at the time, Norman. I must fly. I've got a lot to do before I meet Alec. Oh. He's promised to take me to the fair tonight. Oh, nice. Well, I must go, Norman. Of course. Goodbye, Norman. Goodbye, Miss Gibson. Hey, Miss Gibson! You ain't had nothing to eat! Look, there's all your cake and everything left on the table. You haven't had any tea or your... Your bill, sir? Oh. Thank you. I've paid for them, I'm going to have them. Oh, hasn't she turned up yet? Oh, never mind. Here, have a cake. Go on. Now, you messed it up. Go have another one. <laughs> Will you leave my theatre? Your theatre. <laughs> Your theatre. Thank you, sir. Get out! Well, I take it that's all settled then. The orphanage will be so. I'm anxious about the children. Does the move have to be so soon? Mr. Carter needs the site immediately. But you don't have to worry about the dear children. Look, ladies and gentlemen, the way I see it, the orphanage might like to have a say in its future. In other words, the matron should certainly be consulted. Of course, matron will be consulted. What are your views, Lady Wilson? If it is for the good of the children, the sooner they are moved, the happier I shall be. Nobody could have put it better. We will meet and go to the orphanage on Saturday to settle the matter. Good evening. <laughs> Sport of gentlemen. And ladies and gentlemen, this is a sport that has made England famous. And it might make you famous. And we don't ask you to do it for nothing. Ten pounds. Ten pounds for the amateur boxer who lasts three rounds with one of my boys here tonight. Ten pounds in cash without any anky panky. Go three rounds and win ten pounds. It's as easy as that. <laughs> and who doesn't want ten pounds? It's money for jam. Three rounds for ten pounds. Continuous performance and no waiting. Here's the best value for money to say nothing of the excitement. Come inside and enjoy yourselves. Bring the kids in, too. It's the sport of gentlemen. And when I claim that I can make you do the impossible, I assure you, ladies and gentlemen, it is no idle boast. I am not one of those two penny half penny fakers. But to prove to you that you will see the genuine article inside, I am willing to hypnotize any member of the audience, free, gratis, and for nothing, here and now, and in full view of you all. Who is it going to be? This gentleman, I believe. No, wait, wait, wait. This gentleman was first. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, I beg oh, pardon. I'm sorry. Oh, I beg pardon. Oh, 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 are you surely talking? Oh, 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 all right, all right. All right. Will you sit there, please? Oh, what is your name? Norman. <laughs> and what do you want, Norman? I want to be a boxer. <laughs> I want to go three rounds and win ten pounds. <laughs> <laughs> and so you shall. Just sit down and concentrate on my eyes. So you want to be a boxer, eh? Just concentrate on my eyes. Just think of sleep. Sleep. Just think of sleep. Blimey, it works. Open your eyes.
Stand up. Sit down. It does work. Stand up. Norman, you're now ready to go for three rounds. I don't know how, but I've actually done it. Come on, let's have a look. Eight, nine, out. Bad luck, sir. Anyone the prize, sir? Now, who's the next lucky young fella? I've seen enough. Not for 50 pounds. Uh, You're right. Iris, look. Last three rounds, ten pounds. All right. That's it. What's your name, Sonny? Norman. Norman. Thanks, Professor. Done a nice job. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest between Gunner Mac on my left and Norman, Nippy Norman, on my right, will be three one-minute rounds fought under the Marquis of Queensbury rules. And may the best man win. Seconds out. Round one. <laughs> You're doing fine. But don't get in too close. He packs a wallop. Last three rounds, win ten pounds. That's it, son. And you've only got two more rounds to go. Seconds out. Rounds, he wins ten pounds. Oh, thanks. I see. Well, it's most extraordinary. Well, don't just stand there, do something. Come on! Seven. 
moment you had me worried. That's my soul. I didn't know I could do it. I win? No, not quite, son. But it was nice going. Oh, oh! I think I'll go and see if I can find Norman. Excuse me. Fine. Oi, son! Here, hold your cap out, son. I made a collection for you. Sixteen bob. <laughs> oh, good. I only need eleven pounds for now, don't I? <laughs> good night, son. Good night, and thank you. Norman? Norman? Hello, Miss Gibson. That was wonderful of you, Norman. I know why you fought to get the money for Jimmy's present. I nearly won. I know, I saw you. I want you to do something for me. I want you to take this on loan. You can pay me back whenever you can. Oh, no, no, I couldn't. Please, Norman. No, they made a collection for me in there. I'm all right now. You got enough? Yes, yes. There you are. Jolly good, Norman. Come on, dear, it's getting late. Good night, Norman. Good night. Now and again, I venture to suggest to a lady that maybe she'll be mine But you can bet the lady with regret Will politely but firmly decline No matter what I do, no matter what I say No matter how I work it out if I pray Please Opportunity Come my way Make a promise That someone will say Darling I love Winter of mine Make a promise That somewhere Sometime I'll fall Into Love Can't help thinking There might be A girl who's like Me Lonely just the same as myself, she's been left on the shelf and only waiting for life to begin. So please, opportunity come my way, let us meet. So that someday she may fall in love with me. I don't need three guesses to tell me who those belong to. Well, somebody's got to do them for him. Well, you could do worse. Where is trouble, anyway? Well, he went to the fair.
woman. Your eye. I've been boxing. I nearly won. Oh, I can see that. Here, look, they made a collection for me. I've got 16 shillings. Well, that's a fat lot of good. I'm yet to last a few more seconds. Now, shut I'm... up a minute. Mary and me have knocked our heads together, and we've found you the money for the car. How? Well, never mind that. You can pay us back when you can, Norman. Us? Well, no, I couldn't take it from you. Now, don't be ungrateful. Of course you can bloom and well take it. We're doing it for ourselves, really. You see, if you get killed, we'll have ten times as much work to do. <laughs> That's right. Come on. Put it in your pocket and I'll fix your eye. Come on. It doesn't matter about me. I... What are we going to do about Mr. Bigley oh, turning us out? Wait a minute. We'll tell you all about that. Hello, Sonny. What's the matter with you, eh? Someone's taking my motor car. Never mind. We'll soon find it again. Hey, just a minute. Hey! Hey, you! Hey! Hey, you! All right, try again later, sir. Yes, 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 I know about that. We wouldn't leave. Yes, 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 I know about that. We wouldn't leave. Yes, 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 Look, get that man, a car fixed up. Constable. Oh! that car! Details are settled. I vote we go to the orphanage and make the necessary arrangements with the matron. Yes, I've asked my surveyor and his assistant to meet us there. Good idea. You coming with us, Alec? Sorry, Father. I promised to meet Iris. No. Yes. Didn't you watch him? Let him Start operations, stop him. There we are. 
What a peaceful old place this is. It seems a pity to pull it down for a factory. Oh, but how ideal for your workmen. Coming in round the side, the gardens round the back, and then you can walk the way in so that you could... Enemy detachments approaching on front door. Right. Prepare to execute defensive plan number four. Get weaving, kids. Well, shall I lead the way? Switch on. <laughs> Now, leave this to me, sir. <clears throat> now, stop this. <laughs> My dear sir. Please, can I go to Tony Pony from the station, please? Not in a straight line, son. Why, are you going? Yes, please. Oh, have you got any money? Four pence me. I'm afraid that's not enough, Sonny. You're from the orphanage, aren't you? Hey, come back. Miss Gibson, have you seen Jimmy? He's run away. It's all my fault, so I've got to find him. What about the orphanage and Mr. Bigley? Oh, I can't help about the orphanage. I've got to find Jimmy. Now, look, Norman, all those other children depend on you. If they close the orphanage, you won't have any of them, not even Jimmy. I know, but... Now, you go straight back. I'll look for Jimmy. He can't have got very far. Oh, thank you, Miss Gibson. Well, hurry up. <laughs> Enter by force. Good. Stay there, ladies. Oh. HQ, gunnery officer, stand by. Now! Look, where? Prepare secret weapon. Prepare secret weapon. Tell him I'm coming up. Cut's coming out. 
as badly as your kids do, deserves to have it. I agree. Thank you, Mr. Carter. And you, Lady Wilson. <laughs> We've won. We've won. Let's go away. We've won. We've won. Lady Wilson said we can stay. <laughs> Jimmy. No, man. Get the car. I've got it, Jimmy. I've got the car. Kept me promise. Thank you, Norman. But I don't want it. Miss Gibson brought me an airplane and it flies. We won, Miss Gibson. I'm so glad, Norman. I must go, Norman. Alec is calling. But I didn't mean it. Oh, of course you didn't, Jimmy. <laughs> Come on, love. 